Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus and we choose life today. We will walk in faith and not in fear because the Lord is on our side. We will not fear what any man can do to us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to open our eyes to any hiding area of fear in our life. Guide us and protect us in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Friday, October 4, 2024. This is Love Word, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is a naval language. Hallelujah song will never see so her mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is easy prayers. Easy prayers. I mean, first, I'm find the book of 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. I read For all the promises of God, in him are ye, and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. For all the promises of God in him are ye, and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Today, I will continue my teaching on the various category of prayer by looking at the second category, easy prayers. You pray easy prayers when you ask God for what He has already guaranteed in the Bible. For example, asking God for your daily bread is asking for something that He has already guaranteed. Matthew 6 verse 9 to 11 The shepherd does not eat grass. It is meant for the sheep. So when you ask God for food as a sheep, it is an easy prayer that he will answer easily. Psalm 23. Psalm 35 verse 27 says that God has pleasure in your prosperity. Therefore, asking for weight is an easy prayer. Years ago, when I asked God for money to build a small house in Motion Lagos, it said, don't ask for a house. I've decided to give you a city. So when several of us gather and the Lord to pray for a come clan, one of us begin to prophesy, I've already provided the land. I will only show it to you. The land was already provided because he has guaranteed it in his world. Some truth has eight. One of my children said, Give me easy prayer of a child. When your soul come to ask for food, he's just saying, I am ready for the next ration. He is not bothered about the provision of the food. In the same vein, you should not be bothered about things that God already promised you in the scripture. They are already provided for you. So all you need to do is ask and you will get them at the right time. There is no need to worry about money food, or to stay that make you comfortable, God has already provided them. Matthew 6 verse 25 to 34 When you worry about the things that God has guaranteed, it shows that you have a little faith before you came to this world. He has prepared everything you need to survive. Just ask for them when you need them. As you ask, pay attention to whatever instruction he will give you on how to get them. In 1st King 17 verse 4 to 6, he told Elijah to go to the brook and food was brought to him there. If Elijah did not obey, he would have died of hunger even though food was available for him. Your weapon is God's responsibility. Stop worrying about it. Your work being it's God's responsibility. Stop worrying about it. Ready? I want us to read the book of Numbers 23, verse 19 to 20. 
and our Bible in one year, Matthew 10, verse 11. Our hymn in 13, Jesus loves me, this I know. Jesus loves me, this I know. Our key point for today, worrying about your daily need is a sign of faithlessness. If God has guaranteed them in this world, just ask him and he will provide them at the right time. Worrying about your daily need is a sign of faithlessness. If God has guaranteed them in this world, just ask him and he will provide them at the right time. And I pray heaven will provide for you. Heaven will help you in ramification. In Jesus' name, Amen. But then, this is Love Word. Till I come with tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to this channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day, and bye for now. God bless you. Happy Friday, and happy weekend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.